Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we will see how to find the BBS for the rough foundation. Okay. So again, a rough foundation is very, again, very simple. You just need to understand the concept. That's it. Okay. So I think I have a drawing here. And for this particular drawing, I'll show you how the BBS has to be done. So what I'll do, I'll just, uh, you know, uh, select this particular drawing. Okay. And let me say control C and control control V and just I'll paste only the rough portion here. Okay. So this is where the BBS will come. Okay. Getting my point. So very simple. You just understand the concept rough foundation and combined footing both remains the same. Okay. The difference will come in the size of the footing. Okay. Uh, like uh, uh, for the combined footing, what we used to do we used to have a bottom mesh and over that your distribution still used to come. Similarly, you had a top mesh and beneath that and below that your distribution still used to come in the raft foundation also same thing is going to happen okay there won't be any difference okay uh, only the thing is what will happen in combined footing there won't be lapping what i'm trying to tell for example if i'm taking this as my combined footing okay if this is my combined footing let us say the size of the combined footing is let us say uh, i'll take this as uh, 5500 mm the length and the breadth i'll consider to be 3000 mm so here we used to do the simple method, isn't it? How we used to do the cutting length, this L we are supposed to find, bar will go straight in this way. And this, you know how it has to be done, isn't it? Both the side you deduct the cover, this L you know, this length you know, you can do. And since 5.5 meter is less than 12 meter, so one straight bar is enough. You don't have to do a lapping and all. But in the rough foundation, what will happen? The only problem in the rough foundation is that the size of the foundation is not small. For example, if I measure this dimension, let me measure this dimension, okay, from here to here. Okay, uh, so what I'll do is I'll increase the size of this. Go to the properties. Okay, PR, enter. And from here, I'll increase the text size, okay. So arrow is our text. So text height is, let me go for 150. Okay, text height. It's not visible still. I'll go with 500. Yeah. So it should be visible. Okay, uh, fine. Let me still do that. Give me a minute. Yeah, so it's not happening. Not an issue. You see this uh, dimension. Okay, so this length I measured this length I measured and you can see how much it's coming. It's coming 34,590 mm. If I divide it by 1000, it comes out to be 34 meter. So this length is 34 meter. Now try to understand. So this length is 34 meter. But the bar, what is available is a 12 meter bar. Now what will happen beyond 12 meter? Exactly. You're supposed to do the lapping. So only in the cutting length, your lap length will increase. Other than that, nothing is going to change. This much you understood. So that is why I wanted to tell you that making the craft footing, what will happen and raw foundation, what will happen? Uh, your lap length will be added. That's it. Okay. Very simple. So how we are going to place the bar? It's very simple. We just start your bar in this way. Okay. Your first bar will be placed in this way. Okay. And again, next bar will be placed in this way. Only up to this distance, you place it. It will be placed in this way. Finish. Only three bars you place here. Similarly, you place three bars in this way. Okay. Again, you place three bars in this way. Fine. So only this number of bar. I'm not, I'm just showing three number. That may depend. Depends on the, this particular length. You divide by the spacing, you get number of bar. Cutting length is very simple. Okay. This will be my cutting length. Okay. After that, next time when you place the bar, this bar will be starting from here. It will go like this. Okay. Got an idea how the bars will be placed in the rough foundation. So now you'll find the cutting length for this magenta color line. Whereas previously for the yellow line, we are supposed to find. Then again, your bar will go in this way. Again, your bar will go in this way. Okay. I hope you're able to understand. Your bar will go in this way. Your bar will go in this way. Okay. Fine. So once this is done, you start with the distribution still again. The distribution still again here it will be like this it will come like this okay here it will come like maybe you'll get some 10 or 12 bar similarly you do here also okay similarly you do here also fine fine after that next what will happen you take it completely now you got an idea in the center it will go completely so in the rough foundation now here the problem is my footing is not in regular shape it is uh, having some offset no that is the reason i'm doing in this way but i'll teach you the concept not an issue Okay, you understood how it has to be done. This the way you put the rough foundation, you understood. No, only bottom I did. Similarly, you'll do in the top also. Like combined fitting, we used to do no, whatever was my bottom, the same will be my top. You just have to multiply by two, you'll get the answer. That is understood. 
now what i'll do so what i'm going to do is see this length we had 35 meter isn't it so leave it i'll i'll take another uh, box and let me do that okay so let us say this is a footing what i have this is my combined footing okay i'll go in this way and what is the dimension so for dimension i'll go with a different uh, this thing wait uh, yeah Fine. Let me draw one uh, rectangle here and I'll do the rough footing here. Okay. And let me check the dimension. Okay. I think uh, this should be simple. Yeah. Okay. Now you try to understand. So how much it is? It is 9,452. Okay. This will not work out. No. I'll have to take a bigger one. Let me go with a bigger raft. Okay. Imagine this is a rough footing what I have. This much big is my raft, okay? And I'll measure this distance now. What I'm trying to do, I want it more than 12 meter. That's it. Yeah, now it is okay. See, this is 21,887 mm. So that means it comes out to be 21 meter. Okay, now try to understand. This is 21 meter. If you want, I'll write here. This is 21 meter. Okay, fine. Now, then uh, first let let me go with this is the first bar shorter span bar we are going to place first imagine that you are putting a bar in this direction first once it is done it's very simple now we'll start to find the cutting length how we are going to put the bar here of course you'll start the bar in this way i agree with that you will take it straight and then you are going to place it here this is how you put but the problem is this is 21 meter the bar that is available in the market is 12 meter so what you have to do exactly you have to do the lapping so how many times lapping will come that is important so what we'll do we'll take 21 and we'll divide it by 12 so what is the answer you're getting you should get some one point 21 divided by 12 you'll get 1.75 so forget about the decimal point after this 75 you forget only one only this number i need to count okay whenever you find the number of lapping i always told you forget the digit after the decimal point only the before that, before that is only one, no? So only one lapping will come. So what we will do, we'll bring our bar in this way. Okay. And maybe it will stop somewhere here. Okay. And then I'll bring one more bar. I'll come here. This lapping will be done. I'll lap it in this way. I'll take my bar in this way. And then I L will be given. That's it. So this is how the lapping, this is how the BBS for the footing will be done. For the rough foundation will be done. Now, can you find the cutting length of this? I'll find it for you. It's very simple. 21 meter, I'll write 21,000. Okay. Minus from the left side, I'll take, uh, since it's a rough foundation, uh, uh, it will be 50 mm cover on both the side. Minus 50 from the left side, minus 50 from the right side. Okay. Fine. So, what is the answer you're going to get? So, 21,000 minus 50 minus 50. So, this will be 20,900. Okay. So this will be 20,900. This complete length from here to here. This one from here to here. This will be how much? 20,900. But since there is one lap, we have done one lap. No, you just add the lap length. This lap length you are supposed to add. So what you will do? 20,900 plus lap length. How much you will take? Let us say in the drawing it is mentioned 50 times the diameter of the bar. So I will take 50 and let us consider I am using a 16 diameter bar. So multiply this by 16. Tell me what is the answer you are going to get plus 50 into 16. Fine. So 21,700 mm. Fine. But this is only the straight portion. What about the L portion? This L portion to identify the L portion, you should know what is the depth of your foundation for raft. Let us consider the depth of my raft foundation is 1,500 mm. So raft and all will won't be like 400 mm, 500 mm. It will be at least more than 750, 1000. 1500 mm. I'll consider the depth of my raft foundation is 1500. So, can you find the L? It's very simple 1500 minus top 50 mm cover minus bottom 50 mm cover. And now, if you want to multiply this by two third, you can do that. Else, usually for the raft, this L will be very big. This L, L will be usually big. So, what we'll do, we'll go with the same answer, or what we can do is we'll take two third of this. This is a usual construction practice what we do. We don't keep the complete L. But again, it depends how it is given in your drawing. 
but here for our understanding i'll take two by third okay which we usually did for the isolated footing and all so there is no you know difficulties in that into 0 0.67 i'll do so 938 mm fine finish you got this l so if you want i'll write this is 938 mm 938 mm this l okay and this is also 938 mm. both the side it will be same since i'm taking two third of that now you find the cutting length now it's very simple to find the cutting length so the cutting length will be how much now so add everything 21700 this is pan plus 938 on the left side plus 938 on the right side so this will be a total cutting length okay 21700 plus 938 plus 938 21700 plus 938 plus 938 this is 23000 576 finish your bbs is ready bbs in the sense your cutting length is ready so once you know the cutting length you can find the number of bar how you will find the number of bar to find the number of bar you should know the opposite length this length you should know from here to here i'll consider this length to be let us say 7500 i'm considering a figure because usually in the rough foundation this is what happens 7500 let us consider so what we'll do we'll find the number of bar 7500 minus 50 minus 50 will do on both the side cover you are supposed to take out so it will be 7400 and let us consider using a 16 diameter bar okay and at uh, let us say you are placing it as 150 center to center spacing or 150 will be too much we'll keep at 200 200 center to center so what you'll do 7400 divided by 200 you are getting my point no it's very simple we're not doing anything uh which has not been taught to you everything is taught to you only the thing is cut in bbs of the footing of the raft foundation only the lap length is the additional thing which you need to understand okay fine so 7400 divided by 200 if i do i'll get 37 number of bar 37 since it's a number of bar plus one it will be 38 number of bar finish 38 numbers that's it your bbs is ready you know all the thing you know the total cutting length you know the number of bar you know the weight of a 16 diameter bar multiply all the three quantities you'll get the weight of the steel simple very good so this is how the bbs for the raft foundation has to be done okay i hope that uh, you are able to understand the concept okay fine so now let us consider i'll delete other things now let us consider okay yeah now let me consider this portion is done no now this is i told that this is just 7500 so if it is 7500 there is no point in lapping because it is less than 12 meter you just place a bar in this way take your bar this will be a shorter side span i mean shorter side bar okay here there won't be any lapping now for us now let us consider just in case this particular length okay now let us consider this particular length what you had it is let us say uh 15 meter i'll write 15 meter so in that case you are supposed to do the lapping so again what you'll do you'll bring a bar like this You'll take it up to here so maybe your 12 meter bar will end up to here then you will bring another bar okay uh, we will bring another bar like this you will lap it you will bring another bar you will lap it like this and you will take it like this you will take it like this and it will be bent in this way so how you will find the cutting length again cutting length is simple just uh, 15 meter minus 50 minus 50 you do you'll get the cutting length the straight portion plus whatever lap you have it is 50 times the diameter of the bar we have considered so this lap length you just add it that's it finish so again you know this so again this l you have to calculate so l it remains the same because uh, 1500 is for overall uh, depth okay it will be again 938 938 and then add everything you'll get the cutting length and then if if you want to find the number of bar so this is 21 meter no so 21 minus 50 minus 50 you do you will get how much uh 20,900 uh, how much you'll get 21 meter so 21 meter uh 21,000 minus 50 minus 50 you will get 20,900 okay we'll do that only 20,900 we'll divide it by the spacing let us consider spacing is again 200 mm you divide it by 200 so you'll get 104.5 so you'll take 105 plus 1 so 106 number of bar is required in this direction so we'll be providing 106 number of bar in this direction and then you know it's a, let us say it's a 16 diameter bar only we multiply by the unit weight of that you'll find the bbs got it no so this is the only thing only the difference which will come in the uh, rough foundation rest all things are very simple only the thing is 
lab portion you need to understand but again there is one more catch in this what is the catch i'll tell you okay uh, so the catch is let me remove this thing remove, remove this thing these things are not required okay i'll take out this portion also and i'll take out this portion and i think uh, yeah this portion also i'll take out not required now every time now whatever we understood is from the quantity estimation or from the bbs point of view but practically on the site you will not do like this now you know that every time a lapping is lap is coming so again the next bar which you are going to provide will not place it like this again you will bring the l shape bar you will bring it here okay then again you will uh, give a lap then you give a, this thing and you won't take it like this why you know we know one thing whenever you uh, do the execution we need to understand not more than 50% of the bar has to be lapped at one section what do you mean by that if i have a, if i have 10 bar and in all the 10 bar the lapping is coming here how many bars you had how much bar we got i think 35 bar something we got so out of 35 bar not more than 50% means out of let us say 36 number of bar you are supposed to provide okay so what is half of 36 18 so not more than 18 number of bar has to be lapped at the same position so if you lap all the bar in the same position, that means this particular point will be a weak point. Got it? You're getting my point. So the code says that not more than 50% of the bar has to be lapped at one particular section. So what we'll do, the next bar will not put like this. Next bar, what I'll do, I'll change it. Change in the sense, I'll start to put the bar from here. And I'll take a straight 12 meter bar, which may end somewhere here. Fine. The moment the 12 meter bar ends here, I'll bring one more bar. Then I'll, I'll do the lapping. There won't be any change in the lapping. But now you'd see, did the lapping happen here? First lapping happened here, no? But the second lapping happened here. So in this way, alternately, alternatively, I'm going to do out of 36 bar, 18 bar, I'll lap at this position. So next bar again, what will happen? This is my next bar, okay? I'll take, I'll stop it here. Then from here, the lapping will happen. So again, you see, 50%, no? Finish. After that, next bar again, I'll bring from here. I'll take it up to here. I'll lap it here. Fine. Now you are able to understand the concept. After that next bar again, I'll take. I'll take it up to here. I'll give a lap. I'll bring it like this. Finish. I'll take up to here. After that next bar again, I'll bring from here. I'll take up to here. Then I'll give a lap. Okay, now you tell me whether 100% of the lapping has been done. No. Why? If How many bars are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bars. Out of 6 bar. What is 50% of 6 bar? 3 bar, no? So only 3 bar, I have done the lapping here. Only 3 bar lapping. See, 1 lapping at this junction, 2nd lapping at this junction, 3rd lapping at this junction. So out of 6 bar, only 50% of the bar has been lapped here. Remaining 50% I have lapped at this junction, this junction, this junction and this junction. You're getting my point, no? This should be equal. I mean, if this, it should not come parallel, all 6 bar should not be lapped here. Alternatively, this will lap here. Next bar lap here. After that here in this way. So that is what you need to understand. But cutting length remains the same. This point is from execution point of view. In the execution, when you find the cutting length, what you need to do? You need to chain the bar. That's it. Whatever bar this cutting you have kept, no, this you have to turn and start from here. Getting my point? This bar. If you want, I'll take out everything. I think I should take out everything. Yeah. So in the side, what you'll do? This bar first you'll put like this. This one straight bar. And this lapping you will do and bring it here. Next bar, this straight bar, you will start from here. In this direction you will put. So it will stop here and this bar you will bring in this way and you will put it here. Getting my point? No, that you need to do on the side. Simple. Okay? Yeah. So I hope you were able to understand the concept about the rough foundation. So there is no much complications in the rough foundation BBS. Only the thing is about the lapping portion you, you need to understand. And uh, only lapping portion you need to understand. While doing the execution, you need to understand about the alternate lapping. One lapping if you do here, second should come somewhere there, which where when you do the execution, the site engineer will should take care of that. As a quantity estimator, you just have to find the cutting line, which is same for all the bar. Okay, simple, no? Yeah. So I think I've explained you this concept of the rough foundation. In spite of this, if you still have any doubt, you're not able to understand, you can always get back to me. Okay, yeah. That's it. So other than that, there is no doubt left out in this. I've explained to you how uh, the BBS uh, for the raft has to be done. Uh, concept remains the same. Only the thing is additional lap length you have to add. Hmm. Now let me give you one more case. The case is that let us consider I have one more footing. This is one more footing. Okay. 
and let us say uh, if this is let us say uh, 50 meter 50 meter so now what will happen again same bar will go same only but how many lapping will come because 50 meter is a span of your footing and one bar is 12 meter so how many lap will come so number of lap will be number of lap will be that is important number of lap so that will be 50 divided by 12 okay tell me how much will come so 50 divided by 12 4.1 so 4.16 which we consider it to be four number we have to just take the number before the decimal point so four is the first number so four numbers finish so four times you will do the lapping so practically what you will do simple you will start your bar from here this is your first bar coming first bar coming it will stop somewhere here then you will bring your next bar bring your next bar you will lap it here it will take here somewhere here then again your 12 meter bar will end here we will lap here bring here so two lapping are done next again your bar will end here it will come here it will fine next year another lapping will come this will be a last lapping and then it will go straight understood how much lapping was there for so practically how much lapping you are given four only you are given no? so one lap two lap three lap four lap can you find the cutting length of this very simple how you will find this is 50 meter okay 50 meter is 50,000 minus 50 from the left side minus 50 from the right side okay you do that so how much you'll get it should be 49,900 something you no know? yeah 50,000 divided by 50 minus 50 minus 50 so it is it is 49,900 okay fine now four times lap you're supposed to add so 49,900 straight portion okay plus how many lap four times so four into fifth let us say each lap is 50 times the diameter of the bar 50 into let us say i'm using a 16 diameter bar okay plus this l i want no this l i want this l i know i'm taking some random value let us consider the l what i got is 750 i'm taking random okay just for our understanding else you know how it has to be done whatever is the depth of your footing top cover minus cover and multiply that by two third you'll get that l portion so this is 750 this is also 750 okay fine that you add in the calculation so plus 750 plus 750 yeah what will be the answer 49,900 plus 4 into 50 into 16 plus 750 plus 750. So this will be 54,600 mm or let us say 54.6 meter is my cutting length. So if somebody asks you, tell me the cutting length of this, finish. Your cutting length is ready. 54.6 meter is my 54.6 meter it is. Okay. Is my cutting length. After that, rest things you know how it has to be done. To find the number of mem uh, number of bar, this length divided by spacing. If you do, you get number of bar. Number of bar multiplied by cutting length into number of uh, into weight of uh, 16 diameter bar will give you the total weight. Fine. Yeah. Now you tell me one thing. Now you tell me one thing. Next bar, how you'll place? Exactly. Next bar, when you place, you have to be careful on the side. So next bar, what we'll do? We'll start from here. So this may come somewhere here. Okay. Fine. Then I'll give one lapping here. I'll take the bar. I'll stop here. My second lapping will be here. Then again, I'll bring a bar. We'll give a lap here. Okay. It will stop somewhere here. Okay. Then I'll bring one more bar. I'll give a lap here. And it will go straight. Like this. Okay. Only three happened. Okay. Wait. Wait. This I have to be careful. This is okay. Next, I'll bring here. Yeah, I'll bring here. Next bar lapping, I'll give here. Come here. Next, it will be here. Yeah, and next, it will be. Yeah, now it is all right. Yeah. Yeah. So, how many lapping happened? Again, four lapping, I should get. But it has to be alternate exactly. One is here, second is here, third is here, fourth is here. So I, alternately it has happened. So again, next when you come, the same will come here. Getting my point? That's it.
so i hope uh, you enjoyed this lecture we were able to understand how the raft bbs has to be done remaining the method the way how it has to be put everything remains the the format and all you know now by this time you should have that knowledge how the format will be done you will be writing same thing like here we did for the combined footing no like you will be having the bottom reinforcement you will be having the top reinforcement rest everything remains the same but it will take some time for you to uh, make the calculation for the raft uh, portion okay yeah so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you